Welcome FJ to our 11th online prayer service. I'll pass this time to Pastor Josephine, who will say a few words before she pray for us. Then the time will be passed to the worship team who will lead us in the time of praise and worship. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. It's so good that we can come together to pray corporately in spite of the circumstances. God is truly good. You know, beginning of the year, we prayed for new things and we knew that God was going to bring about a new thing. Little did we know that this would be one of the new things that He would bring about. And, you know, we always need to be pliable in His hands, just flow with the Spirit and to know that God is still in control. So today as a church, let us be encouraged that He will bring about a great breakthrough in our land, starting with our own lives. You know, I believe in this time, God has allowed us to spend more time with Him, allowing Him to do something deep in our lives. And let us not lose that, especially when most of us would have gone back to work, that we will continue to keep that place of abiding as our first priority. You know, uh, coming together to pray corporately strengthens each other. So I encourage you to continue to come in every Wednesday and one day, I believe, we will be able to meet corporately again to enjoy the, uh, each other, praying together. And meanwhile, we are still able to lock in with the Lord in our hearts and to press on, to press in to the heart of God because He is always with us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us and in this place of praying, you know, His presence will just still be as mighty. So let us pray and get ourselves prepared to hear the message and to later on uh, pray together. Father, we thank you for each and every member of our church. We want to thank you for their hearts, their desire to pray, their desire to seek your face. We thank you, God, that you will continue to bless them in their places of need, Lord. That you will continue to encourage each and every one of them, Father. Let your blessings flow. Let there be a great mighty outpouring of your love, your strengthening, and your blessings upon their lives and their families, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for listening to all our prayers. And even tonight as we pray corporately, Lord, let there be a breakthrough in our church and in our nation. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we have one another. Thank you, Lord, that in spite of the circumstances, we will continue, Lord, to seek your heart together as a family. We give you praise, Lord. Hold us together. Build us up together, God. In Jesus, Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
Last week, I talked about how we are going to learn to develop a consistent spiritual lifestyle. Our objectives are to be able to, one, pray consistently and faithfully every day, to prepare ourselves spiritually, mentally and emotionally, then to stay spiritually strong in challenging times. Our ultimate goals are one, to be the Daniel 11.32b men and women of God. In Daniel 11.32b says this, But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Then to be the wise virgins, as mentioned in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 13, in, and, and just quoting from verse 1 to 5, about the difference between the wise virgin and the foolish virgins. Then to learn how to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to us and to be an old comer as what he is saying to the seven churches. Now the ultimate goal of number one is to be the Daniel 11.32 be men and women of God. In Daniel 11.32 be says this again, but the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. 
Let's look what happened to this 1132B men and women of God. He says here, And those of the people who understand shall instruct many, yet for many days they shall fall by the sword and flame by captivity and plundering. Now when they fall, they shall be aided with a little help, but many shall join with them by intrigue, which means they will betray them. And some of those of understanding shall fall to refine them, purify them, and make them white until the time of the end, because it is still for the appointed time. So you can see for yourself that these are the people who will go through tremendous trials, testing, persecution. What is this? It is basically these are believers of great faith in God, despite what happened to them. Now, how to grow to be a Daniel 11.32b believer? In Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 to 24 says this, Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches, but let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the, the Lord, exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in this I delight, says the Lord. So, we want, to want God to be delighted in us, let us seek to understand and know Him. What happens when we do not seek to understand and know God? We do not seek to know His ways. Well, in Psalms 95, verse 7b to 11, we read this. Today, if you will hear His voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, as in the days of trial in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me, they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people who go astray in their heart, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Let's look at the first, uh, 7 B and 8. He says this, Today, if you will hear his voice, let's learn to hear the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. If we fail to do so, and even if we hear but we don't do anything about it, we will harden our hearts as in the rebellion, as in the day of trial in the wilderness. Now, what is this as in the rebellion? and trial in the wilderness? Well, in NIV version, it says about Psalm 95, verse 8, says this, Do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah, as you did in that day at Massa, in the wilderness. So, it is about Meribah and Massa. To know that, we can find it in Exodus chapter 17, verse 1 to 7. This is after a few days, they came out of Egypt, they were celebrating. Then the first round, no water, complain. Then after that, no food, then they complain again. Finally, and then the third one, again no water. And in Exodus chapter 17, verse 1 to 7, talks about that rebellion. And Moses struck the rock and the water came out from the rock the first time. And Exodus 17 verse 1 to 7 says this, So he called that, the name of that place Massa and Meribah because of the contention of the children of Israel. So God remind the, the descendants what happened at Meribah, at Massa. Then, we go to the third one. So God told them this, when your father tested me. So when we don't seek to understand and know God, 
The third thing that happened to us is that we tested God. We tried Him, though we saw His works. And God said for 40 years, He was grieved with that generation and said, It is a people who go astray in their hearts. Rebellion and disobedience start from our hearts. And God says, They do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. So the culmination of not seeking is face to know God and understand Him. We not only harden our hearts, we not only test Him, we grieve Him and we cause pain in His heart and we will always go astray and we will not know his ways and god says we will not enter his rest so let us seek to understand and know god in jeremiah chapter 9 verse 24 again god says this but let him who glories glory in this that he understands and knows me that i am the lord exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in this I delight, says the Lord. When we do that, we will please Him. Not only that, He will delight in us. He will be very pleased with us. But we will continue to understand what it means to seek and know and understand Him. It will be continued next Wednesday. But now is the time for prayer and intercession. Once again, we thank you for joining us in this time of prayer, not only for our nation, but nations around the world. Amen.
Thank you.